Well, well, well. Uh -oh. We've come to that time, ladies and gentlemen, where, you know, every once in a while, you just have to put a fucking ribbon on things. And who better than the man who has done more new sets on this show than anybody, more interviews than anybody, more years than anybody. This guy is a superstar. We love him with all of our hearts. You know him. The Big Red Machine, the Memphis Strangler, the Vanilla Gorilla, the one, the only, William Montgomery. Join in the PGA Tour. <laughs> Saudi Arabia just bought the PGA Tour. The good news is there is now a ton more money in golf. The bad news, they get to fly planes into buildings anytime they want. <laughs> and also, weirdly enough, my Indian name is also Little Dick. So that's weird that guy said that. I'm so homophobic, I don't stick a toothbrush anywhere close to my mouth. <laughs> Due to the writer's strike, I'm pitching a new television show starring a fat psychic. It's called Large Medium. <laughs> if y'all want to know a little bit about me, at the end of the day, I side with Jussie Smollett. Smollett, Smollett. I was kidding, I was kidding. I look like what Jesus would do if the answer was the 12 disciples. Okay. And also I, uh, I have something I wrote for this. I just wanna say it's been a dream to be a part of over 300 episodes of the greatest live pod comedy podcast in the world, Kill Tony. There have been lows, namely the quarantine episodes where my drinking and drug use were spiraling totally out of control, where I was flipping over Hyundai Elantras in the parking lot of a La Quinta in Scottsdale, Arizona. And by the way, I killed Tony Chen, so stop looking for him. Um, but there have also been highs. I mean, I finally had sex with Red Band's mom last November. Should have seen that old bitch. Ah. I got to kiss Tony one night in a hotel room, and I sent Cracker Barrel Kid 55 a very effective and deadly pipe bomb through the USPS. R.I.P. Ted Kaczynski. It has been a real pleasure being a part of Kill Tony for the past nearly five years, and I just want to say, this could have been the best podcast of all time, except for Red Band's bitch ass. I mean, how do you have a fucking job? We could have sold out the Astrodome if it weren't for your ass. At the end of the day, Tony, I owe you so much. My life wouldn't be the same, and Red Band, I know I give you a lot of shit and like to make fun, but the truth is, you're no doubt, hands down, a national embarrassment. <laughs> Truly the worst part of this show, and Tony talks about firing you at least once a week. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I love you right now. Okay, that's my time. Come on. Wow. What a fucking performance. Talk about taking 
taking the ball and running with it, a whole fucking speech. Come on, people, the big red machine, William Montgomery, with the fucking blatant performance of the night. Of course, the veteran doing it every week, making it look fresh and new and fucking keeping us on the edge of our seats. First off, dude, stop looking at my dick, dude. But yeah, what, Tony? I'm sorry. It's what been throwing dick? me off. God, you are a force of nature in your element. Are you wearing that because Live Golf and PGA merged this week? Yes, I went to a sex store and I browsed around very awkwardly for a couple hours in the sex store. And this whole ensemble actually cost me 600 fucking dollars, so. I don't give a shit no more! <laughs> And also, Tony, they found skin cancer on my neck, so hopefully I can... That wasn't a joke, yeah, so hopefully it'll be all right. Little fun fact, that part's actually not a joke. He was diagnosed with skin cancer this week, everybody. How about a hand for William Montgomery? You better sit down, bitch! You're not supposed to cheer at that. William... I was not expecting you to prepare something so beautiful as your set was tonight, but uh, we prepared something very special for you. If you want to, uh, if you want to turn around and look at that video screen, let's roll that uh, William Montgomery video. It's William Montgomery, and he's coming for everybody's jobs. That's that guy. <laughs> that guy is a. a Genius. He's like Andy Kaufman meets a fucking Tennessee trucker. He's coming for every, everybody's gonna know who that guy is eventually. He's literally got like that uh, that comedy twitch muscle where he just riffs and it's the dumbest shit and the most glorious shit at the same time. <laughs> All right, we've had this young man on the show before, and uh, at least I believe so. I know for a fact that I met him outside one day and I thought he was interesting as hell and had an unbelievable charisma to him. Very impressive. I can't tell whether he's a genius or he's crazy. So here he is for you, ladies and gentlemen, William Montgomery. I just spent 30 fucking dollars on the ecstasy. The least you can do is buy the movie tickets. It's an impression of my uncle in 94 before we went to go see the movie Twister. I'm grinding away at the open mics. I'll be quite frank. I have this issue with PCP, so... Half the time I'm at the open mics, the other half the time I'm down in Scottsdale, Arizona with my aunt, flipping over Hyundai Elantras, y'all. <laughs> what? If you had to guess how many Elantras you flipped in your life, like, what would that number be? I don't have to guess. It's 14. <laughs> I met this guy on this show for the first time two weeks ago. Uh, he's fucking awesome. I fell in love with him immediately. I think he's uh, one of the ways of the true future. Maybe I'm crazy, but maybe I'm right. It is the comedy stylings, the second ever appearance of William Montgomery. I opened up this water park outside of Memphis, uh, Wild Water and Wheels. Um, and somebody was going down the slide and, and got killed. <laughs> See what I mean? I don't give a fuck where he started lying, at what part. That's fucking comedy. You know, William has been on the show, how many times do you think it's been now? Four or five, including San Francisco? I would guess five. So would you be interested in being the new regular here on Kill Tony? Yeah! I would love to. Yeah? Well then, ladies and gentlemen, that makes it official. Your new regular is William Montgomery, everybody. Yeah. Hell yeah. Boom, there you go. Wow, William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second, what is this? Tony, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> Uh, how'd you two uh, meet? It was two years ago. Go. 
we, we were, were with with my my aunt. Bro- <laughs> aunt melting melting candles, candles. good. Uh, weirdly enough, last night I was trying to look at the eclipse up in the tree, and I I rolled off the limb I was on and landed on my neck and hurt my neck real bad. So I'm, uh, I'm single, I'm holding out for a black or an oriental. It is David Lucas. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I'm tired of being big and black, you know what I mean? Daylight, come and me one go home. Dude, shut the fuck up. So here we go. Oh, <laughs> where am I? <laughs> William, what are you gonna do with Hold this? Hold on, is a David I can't swim. <laughs> I think I am sick with the virus, God. Please help me tonight. Uh, Well, y'all will be excited to know I just got actually sponsored by Sun Made Raisin Bread. Who wants some? Oh, shit. He's throwing out raisin bread. Here we go. Oh, he's really whipping it. Shake my hand. Oh, wow. He's burying the hatchet Ah. with (laughs) it. I fucking buzzered him! <laughs> I buzzered your dumb ass! You really thought I was trying to bury the fucking hatchet? And the comedy gods are with us. He literally broke the chair when he flinched. He got red, man. You have come to a magical, magical episode. As I introduce to you, the Montgomerys, Francis and Larry Montgomery, are here, live, in the flesh. The longest standing regular in the history of the show, the man who has done the most one minute sets in the history of the show, this is what he came from. <laughs> Welcome to the show, you guys have both- We been- apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad to see Red Bay. Oh! Oh! oh. Red Man. Whoa! Yeah. Like, she had one of these buzzer things on her. Hand. First and foremost, Mama and Papa, I just want to say it was a real pleasure storming the Capitol with y'all last year. We made it all the way inside the Capitol building. Larry, what did you think of this unbelievable performance? I'm going to be perfectly objective and and tell you that I was awestruck by his comedic talent. Wow. (laughs) Wow. He's fucking around! But when he said it, what did it sound like when Ja Rule said that to you? Man, you're going to have to stop! Well, thank you for more. bringing it up. Thank you. Right. I yeah, apologize. I, bring it up. I do it to everyone. <laughs> so maybe I need to stop. Yeah. But I never go to stop. <laughs> nice catch, bitch. Holy shit. <laughs> Red Band is so old, I asked him if I should join the Union, and he said, no, join the Confederates. You wrote a song. Does it have any words? I don't know. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You got a dog. A sweet little dog. Yesterday. Yesterday. Yes, 
yesterday. Yes, I got everybody. A sweet little dog. I got a sweet little dog yesterday. A sweet little dog. Yesterday. Your second LSU Tony Hall of Fame inductee. Only Michael Lair beat him to it. The second ever. Make some noise for William Montgomery. Here to present him with his award. Make some noise for his parents, Larry and Francis Montgomery. Yeah, baby. Sing it if you know it. Yesterday, yesterday, everybody. We love it. Larry, Francis, William. Uh, Larry, it's your son. Is there anything you'd like to say? Uh, he's wiping it off. He's getting William's germs off of it. Sorry I did that. I just didn't want to catch whatever the hell it is Jared Nathan has. <laughs> I forgot to mention, Larry and Francis were voted Guests of the Year 2022. Uh, William's parents ended up beating everybody out somehow. Tony, uh, I, congratulations Thank to you. you and Red Band for crushing it for 10 years. Thank Seriously. You. Thank you. Uh, and one more thing, I, w I want to get serious <laughs> for a second. Uh, William's mother and I are so proud of uh, William for performing in front of 3,000 people. Thank you. We're, we're so proud of him performing in front of 3,000 people live and millions on the live stream and coming out here looking like a fucking retarded <laughs> sex pervert. I do not look like a sex pervert, Papa! <laughs> William, you are a star. We saw Hans uh, is dealing with being challenged regularly for his regularship. We saw David Lucas retire with dignity, able to do spots anytime he wants. You're the second ever inducted Hall of Fame member of the Kill Tony universe. Uh, Thank you so much. Are you, are you also planning on retiring or are you gonna keep uh, performing every week? Tony, I never go stop! You asking me that for? Now, it's come to that time, ladies and gentlemen. Ali, you're about to see something. But this is the actual craziest part of the show. On Saturday night, he became the second ever, only second ever, Hall of Fame inductee to the Kill Tony Hall of Fame. The man is an instant legend. He is the Big Red Machine, the Memphis Strangler, the Vanilla Gorilla, here with a brand new minute. Make some noise for the one and only, William Montgomery. <laughs> Excited about my parents being here tonight. If you see them, you'll be able to tell I have my mother's chin and my father's testicles. <laughs> By the way, my dad is always saying, make Germany great again. Papa, what does that mean? <laughs> the Saudis have taken over the PGA Tour and they're already changing some rules. Miss a putt on the back nine, 10 years in jail and a thousand lashes. Tee your ball in front of the tee markers. You know your hand's getting chopped off. 
accidentally lose your ball out of bounds, 10,000 migrant workers never see their homes in Somalia again. <laughs> Don't finish the hole with your same ball. You know your wife can stone to death. <laughs> Donald Trump will appear in a federal court next Monday after being accused of illegally hoarding classified documents. When asked about the felony charges, Trump responded, the only person who should be getting felony charges right now is Aphex Twin for performing live for the first time this past weekend in Denmark and not America. Aphex Twin! Aphex Twin! Aphex Twin! Aphex! Okay, okay. All right, Tell William Montgomery, up. everybody. Unbelievable. Again and again and again. No one brings more energy. No one brings more chaos to the show than you. Absolutely amazing. How do you feel? I feel pretty good, but Tony, tonight, I actually could have found out today, but I missed the phone call. Tomorrow I find out if I actually have skin cancer, so I thought I would kind of lighten the mood up uh, Tonight, so I brought a little friend. Y'all are going to have to be really quiet, though. I want to show y'all my sweet little friend I brought tonight. Let me. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that is. Inc it really is a sweet little dog. So all the pieces of shit on fucking YouTube and Reddit suck my dick. Because this is a sweet little dog. That is a sweet little dog. She's already shit yes, twice on me, is. so I hope she oh, doesn't. Wow. Yeah, she looks scared to death right now. It's yeah, I think this was a bad idea. I almost <laughs> feel a little bad. She also doesn't like Hispanic people, so it doesn't help that Pablo Escobar is sitting in the front row. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, it's exciting uh, to be here. She's scared as shit. But yeah, I thought I would just bring her up. Does she always shake like that? She doesn't. She's just really scared right now. But wow, it's okay. Oh my goodness, the dog is a definitely a sweet little dog. Does she like being in that uh, bag? Who said no? You is, fucking right. stupid bitch! I see it was you. She loves being in this bag, dude! <laughs> she actually lives in this bag, bitch, so... <laughs> Ever since I brought her home from the vet, yeah, she's just been living in here, and she's my sweet little girlfriend, and I really love her. Oh, my goodness. Oh, she looks like she's in... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my God, he's licking the dog. I'm her mama. <laughs> Aww, how I'm sweet I'm her sweet is that? mama. Are you in on that angle, Christy? I mean, this thing is unfucking believable. She loves it when I yeah. look around like I'm her get, mom. Get all the way in there, Christy. Don't these people don't need to see anything. Get on in there. Look at this fucking thing. <laughs> what kind of dog is? Is that a gerbil? It's a no. It's a Rottweiler. She's gonna get a lot bigger. <laughs> that is uh, not a goddamn Rottweiler. <laughs> this is a Rottweiler, Ali. Yeah, this is a Rottweiler. <laughs> I don't get it. What's so funny? That it's dog a, is dead to fucking death. The people on Craigslist told me it's a little baby Rottweiler, so. <laughs> That's why she cost ten thousand dollars. They said it's a really it's rare a kind of Rottweiler. So it's like a miniature Rottweiler. Like yeah. that. That's crazy. Honestly, the shaking is increasing to a point that I'm getting kind of concerned. Uh, yeah, like a fair. If, if, if this dog dies to end the show, I'm. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. The lady thinks I have cancer, so hopefully it's not too bad. Why is that funny? I'm not kidding. Why is that funny? By the way, I know that he has lied and joked about a great many things uh, on the show, but this one is real. If you look, he has a Band-Aid on the back of his neck. Come on, show him the Band-Aid. To cut it off, I had to get three shots because redheaded people... Uh, See that Band-Aid? Something with redheaded people. This is know. real. He actually does have... the. Dog Why was that funny, Red Band? Hold on. Excuse me, Tony. What nah. the fuck? Yeah, that's not going to lead okay, anywhere. Okay. But the doctor that removed the thing off of your neck, you said that she was pretty positive that it was cancer, correct? Correct. Can you describe what she said that made you feel that way? 
Uh, she said, yeah, it looks like you have skin cancer. Don't worry. It's the kind that you want. And I just look at her and I'm like, bitch, what the fuck? I don't want any kind of skin cancer. So I don't know why you said that. But she seemed all right about it. So we'll see. I love it. I love it. And yeah. we find out tomorrow. Find out tomorrow. So on next week's episode, we're going to find out if you have to have more serious operations or not. Yes, we'll see if I have a couple months to live or not. And right. if I do, y'all are going to see me back on that cocaine. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. The Pablo Escobars in the room are very excited right now. William, I'm pretty sure your dog is slowly dying. So I'm going to end this interview. Uh, maybe we should maybe we should end it with one little song about the dog, huh? Yeah. You want to lead everybody in it? I got a sweet little dog yesterday. Yesterday. I got a sweet little dog yesterday. Yesterday. Hold on, why aren't you singing, you dumbass? Little dog yesterday. Yesterday, I got a sweet little dog. Yesterday, yesterday, I got a sweet little dog. Yesterday, there he goes, everybody. The great William Montgomery. Shouts out to all my boys in Jamaica for the happy Juneteenth. I think the worst thing that ever happened to me was when I met my haters at age three. A submarine that takes tourists deep into the ocean took uh, to look at the Titanic wreckage is missing. The last time five tourists got lost in something that deep, Red Band's mom was screaming, one at a time, one at a time. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about becoming a Titanic truther. You mean you couldn't avoid an iceberg in an ocean that big? <laughs> An Arizona man was mauled to death by a bear in an unprovoked attack. Wait, unprovoked? That dumbass walked up right to a motherfucking wild bear! Okay, that's all I got. Unbelievable. 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 The man is in pure fighting shape. Always makes it, never misses. Again and again and again. The Titanic truther joke, perhaps being my favorite joke of the night tonight. Your delivery, your style, your energy. You've never been stronger. We found you when you were a bloated, obese mess. And no I remember. I still get the memories on my Instagram sometime of years ago. And it's a bunch of me listening to the old back, just zooming in on inanimate objects. At four in the morning, yeah, it makes me feel weird. But luckily, I think we're past that, Trevor, I think. <laughs> what did you mean when you said that you met all your haters when you were three? Uh, when I was three, I actually went to a place called Silver Springs outside of Gainesville, Florida. And I went up there to get the snake wrapped around my neck. And the guy was like, where are you from? And I kept on saying America. And then everybody was laughing and I didn't understand why, and he kept on asking me where I was from, and I kept on saying America, and there were a couple of fucking haters out in the crowd, and I remember looking at him, just thinking, I am from America, I don't get it. So it's pretty much that, just at Silver Springs. If y'all are ever outside of Gainesville, Florida, visit Silver Springs, they have a really great glass bottom boat. And Tony, I'm glad you asked me about that. I actually have a new sponsor tonight, Silver Springs Theme Park outside of Gainesville, Florida. Wow. Tony, you know what I love about William? Yeah. Is that he's he's sober now and he's still weird as fuck. Like yeah. I, 
I, when he came out here, because I came out here way after these two. When he came out here and I heard he got sober and lost all his weight, I was like, oh, William was going to be fucking normal now. No, this motherfucker, it's something. This is him off cocaine. Y'all understand that? Yeah. There's a certain amazing uh, group of comedians that get sober and they stay weird. Yeah. You know? It is incredible. There's an all star lineup. You, Theo, right? Tim Dillon. Who Still. else? I think uh, Gallagher, he famously got sober. The guy who did all the watermelon stuff. I mean, he was really bad off on crystal meth, but... Indeed. Indeed. John yeah, Mulaney. It's great that you mentioned Gallagher. Yeah, John Mulaney has a really bad crystal meth problem, too. Yeah, I think he got... who uh, Sinbad, I think, had a really bad crystal meth problem as well. He got sober. He was still weird. Sh shout out to Gallagher, who uh, smashed more watermelons than anybody on Juneteenth ever has. Um, <laughs> shout out to Gallagher! Wait, that wasn't as good. Happy Juneteenth! So Juneteenth is a Jamaican holiday to you? Yes, I think it is. That's the little I did a little bit of research earlier. I think it started out in Jamaica. Where did you do this research at exactly? Where, uh, where? It's on uh, Mad Magazine. I've been reading a bunch <laughs> of Mad Magazines. There was an article. Uh, Alfred E. Newman's still going strong, but yeah, I read it in Mad Magazine. I love it. How much is the Silver Springs Amusement Park paying you? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Silver Springs Amusement Park right outside of Gainesville, Florida, down in... Uh, <laughs> How much are they paying you each time you say that? Each time I say Silver Springs Amusement Park outside of Gainesville, Florida, it's $1,000. So wow. Please go to Silver Springs Amusement Park outside of Gainesville, Florida. Can you describe it to us? So there's some rides or anything that people should check out. Yeah, there's a glass bottom boat. You can actually, when I went with my family, they it's a boat with literally a glass bottom so you can look down into the springs. When I went with my family, I think in the early 90s, that we actually saw a bloated corpse down there. So they had to close down the amusement park. Yeah, it was like this Hispanic guy, I think. He got super bloated. He was, I guess, doing some scuba diving stuff down in the springs. And yeah, we saw him. And I was asking my dad what was going on. And my dad refused to tell me. And it turned into a thing. And then that piece of shit literally put a snake around my neck, Tony. And he was asking me where I was from. And I kept on saying America. And I didn't understand why everybody was laughing at my ass. <laughs> That, thi <laughs> that thing that you do sometimes where you get really loud and it sounds kind of like urban, unlike the way that you normally speak. It sounds kind of, uh, what would the word be? It's a Waikiki beat! Where do you yeah, he screams like James Brown. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah. You do. Where do you think that comes from? Where, where did that start? We had a really sweet lady that used to help out my parents, uh, an African-American lady growing up, and her she, name was Imogene, and she kind of got me talking like that from oh, an early age. Okay. What was Imogene, what kind of help was she providing exactly when you say she was helping? Uh, folding towels, doing the bedding, doing the dog walking, making the meals. It, it, I'm trying to figure out what my parents were actually doing back then. I mean, <laughs> Imogene was doing everything! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm trying to run and run and figure out what the fuck they were doing. I love, I love how when William's just talking, he sounds like somebody that can't cook, and when he screams, he sounds like somebody that knows every recipe. That is true. How long was Emma Jean in your life? How is she still with your parents? She is not. She sadly got in a. There's actually a lot of quicksand outside of Memphis, and she. <laughs> Went out for a swim one day and the quicksand got her. A lot of people are these days, they're like, oh, quicksand, I'm never around quicksand. It's really not that deadly. Well, I can tell you firsthand, quicksand is deadly as shit. If you ever are around it, don't get in it because it'll suck you under. That's what happened to Emma Jean. Wow. That is unbelievable. <laughs> William, is there anything else we need to know about? Another unbelievable performance? It's, in fact, a basal cell carcinoma that I have on my fucking neck. I have to get it lasered off this Wednesday. So, so this Wednesday, you're going under the laser. Yes, going we under the laser. We know it's not an uncle laser, because we're not going to see him for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Remember that earlier when he... 
Remember that? Okay. Yeah, got to go under the laser. Hopefully it'll be all right. Also, for anybody who watched last week's episode and was thinking maybe that was dog abuse, bringing Gator out here. She was shaking really bad. I'm happy to report she actually got drunk as shit in Mitzi's. Yeah. After the show, she was taking a tequila shot. She was taking Jager shot. Jager shot. She was doing vodka shot. Is this that weirdo y'all were talking you about? You spotted What's him. Fucking problem, you dude. You spotted him. That's incredible. He really stands out in the pile. He's, you can tell because he's the only one that has no emotion on his face he's, whatsoever. He's the guy from TikTok that likes the trains. Have you ever seen him? Oh, yeah. Oh, my That's gosh. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Roberts, is that your TikTok handle? I'm kidding, you bitch. I don't know who the fuck. So you were saying that the dog that was in question of animal cruelty last week because it was shaking profusely, this sweet little dog that you bought, um, that all is well because it was doing shots of liquor afterwards? Yeah, she's, uh, what, eight weeks old, nine weeks old now, so I'm thinking I can't drink, but my loved ones are sure as shit going to be drinking, so I got her drinking Pretty early on, I'm just a little worried. She's such a small little dog. I'm worried about the size of her liquor. I'm worried about the size of her kidneys. I don't know if it's a sustainable thing, but she's having fun. I'm having fun. We all having fun. William Montgomery, we absolutely love you. Another unbelievable performance. Get, get Get him on Cameo. He's traveling the world with me on my stand up tour, the Fully Great Tour. Put your hands together for the great, the powerful William Montgomery, everybody. First first off, uh, Tony, are you really Mexican? (laughs) All right, here she is with her knees, Caitlin Cannon, everybody. (laughs) You're a gay Mexican, and that guy. Yes, I'm a Mexican. Thank like you. Yes, you that, is the, the that is the greatest roast joke I've ever heard about me. I'm a gay Mexican. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Hola. <Yeah. laughs> hey, table of contents, wrap it up already. I'm trying to start reading over here. Nothing worse than opening a book and having to skip past the pages that say dedicated to Mumsy and Pop. You don't hear me starting a set announcing the name of my agent and my tax accountant. Get to the good shit, you pompous authors. If I wanted to read about who you owe everything to, I'd read you over your obituary. I'm sick of this shit. Okay, let's get on to the next one. Uh, <laughs> I heard somebody say the other day that they felt like Schindler's List was too long, which sounds a little anti-Semitic because I feel that list could have been way longer, like seven million people longer. I was literally sitting in front of a rock climbing gym earlier and a one-armed girl walked out and I couldn't help but wonder, Red Band, what's your excuse? (laughs) And that's not a fucking joke. (laughs) That literally happened earlier. Okay, that's my time. Wow. Wow. The more sets than anyone ever in the history of the show. And meanwhile, you know, while writing a new minute every single week, somehow to me, that seven million people Schindler's List joke is the joke of the night, without a doubt. Coming in Thank and you. showing what a veteran of stand-up comedy is like. That is, an, that is a joke that can work all the time. Thank you. I know. That can be a new one that I start using on the longer sets. Totally agree. Yep. It's in the mix. <laughs> what the fuck was that funny for? Seriously, why was that funny? <laughs> they all know. Yeah. They know. They know. What's the bandaid in your, in the back of your neck? Do you know what? It's the cancer. I actually got it lasered and burned off last Wednesday. So hopefully 
I got a little more longer. Yeah, I had can- skin cancer. Oh, wow. Yep. Uh, but yeah, actually, Tony, I got a new tattoo on my leg. I would love to show you. It's kind of in honor of the getting the cancer off my neck. So, okay. Do you want to see my new leg tattoo? Uh, oh, that, oh wow! He's taking his belt off. I have no interest. Oh, this is very interesting. His belt is coming off, everybody. First time he's oh my god. Pants. <laughs> <laughs> So it's, uh, I got like a Speedy Gonzalez. If y'all can see right here, I got a, uh, it's a Speedy Gonzalez wearing a, he has a piece of cheese. Um, but yeah, Tony, do you like it? I mean, let me see it. It's what the fuck away. is going on? I mean, I just had fucking cancer, and now I'm trying to show y'all a new fucking tattoo. What the fuck is going on? Wow. This is... What are the rules on YouTube? Do we have to... Do we have to write them like a handwritten letter? No, like, it's, hey, it's, this is a we, we promise. It's, <laughs> it's, You're going to see some stuff later in the episode. It's not big enough. We don't have to... William. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> Tony, I actually have some really big news. I'm, uh, I'm starting a new Etsy shop. <laughs> Penises by William. It's 80 fucking dollars. I mean, you go to uh, like a Christmas dinner or something and you're trying to break the ice. <laughs> so Get weird. one of these penises by William. You can just say you just got a new leg tattoo. You can. This is incredible. Using the extra pocket of his... Brought to you by Sheath Underwear. Sheath that pocket underwear. really holds in those fake dicks. Yeah, yeah, you can walk in like Uncle Lance, Aunt Mary. It's so nice to be here. I have this actually really weird itch on my, on my upper thigh. Let me show you all real quick. And then... <laughs> D-Madness is blind and somehow he knows what's... Oh, my God, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Here, hold on, let's do it from behind! No, Ari, this was actually my real penis. <laughs> I knew I would trick your ass up here! That's my real dick, dude! <laughs> No, but we make them really good. I have a new Etsy shop. It's really called Penises by William. They're $75. Wow. I mean, did you mold it? Like, is that your real dick? Huh? Did you mold it after Dude, don't fuck with me right now, bitch! I just said Ari sucked my dick. Don't fuck with me now, bitch! Wow, this is <laughs> an incredible moment in the history of Kill Tony. The first ever exposed penis. The first ever uh, man-on-man blowjob. That was exciting. That was very sweet of you, Ari. Thank you. I love a... <laughs> actually, Tony, I don't know if you remember, Ari was actually the first person to expose his penis on Kill Tony live on YouTube. I remember <laughs> that. That is correct. <laughs> That's right. I didn't know it was live back then. Yeah. Yeah. That was. We're not anymore. Yeah, that was one of one of the flags we got. Yeah. That thing is absolutely incredible. Pri- I can't stop staring flag. at it, William. I must be honest. The fact that it's. I know it looks a little bit like. I'll be honest. Mine's a little smaller than this, but it looks kind of similar. The coloring is pretty similar. But I can make them for you like this. I mean, I had to test a bunch of different dyes, a bunch mm. of different colors. I mean, you just send me a picture of your actual penis. And I'm going to be able to mold a one that looks pretty much just like it. I've already made three for Red Band's fucking dumbass. What do you, what do you make these penises out of exactly? Can you t- get, describe the process? Yeah, for it's us? like a silicon base. I use a decent amount of lycra. It's like a, it's a mix of probably 60% silicon, 30% uh, lycra. And then I just have molds. I make molds. This is actually after my cousin... Uh, uh, my cousin Robert gave me a mold of his penis, so this is actually my cousin Robert's penis. 
But yeah, I have all different kinds of molds, and yeah, I just have the. It's thirty percent lycra, seventy percent silicon, and. You mix it together, you have to heat it up for 20, 30 minutes, and then it ends up... You and then can get you the right... shape it yourself with your own bare hands? Yeah, I put it in the mold. There's a mold. Little... Ah. Yeah, Cousin Robert was really sweet. He let me put my mold on his thing and <laughs> didn't ask too many questions. You, you apply the mold with your hands? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Directly on your cousin? Cousin Robert's penis. Yeah, and, it was a and couple balls. Of weeks. There's also balls attached to that. Yes. Right? Are those his balls too? Yeah. Can you mix balls with different person's dick? Yeah, for sure. Like nice. Red Band has really small balls. He has these sweet. I'm kidding. I actually do. I have really tiny balls, but Ari has probably the biggest balls in the whole I entire have the world. Balls. Maybe I could, after this, maybe mold. Yeah, your... I think it's time. It's that time. It's gonna be a lot of. Gonna be a lot of editing this episode. Make sure you get the. It's just disgusting, guys. Another pair of sheath underwear. Take note that we all wear sheath underwear. Oh my god, that is absolutely incredible. This is Kill Tony, the number one live podcast in the world. <laughs> oh, they're touching balls. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Make some fucking noise for William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. Check him out on Cameo. Make some noise. Wait, wait, wait. I want yeah. to tell you something. Yeah. Hold on. Have it, hold on. Before the chest drop, give me one second, waiter. I was in uh, Romania. I was on a European tour, the wrong side of history tour. I was in Romania, and I was at an underground post-punk rock club. And he was asking me about American comedy. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty great. He goes, I'd love to bring some of those guys over here. I'm like, well, who's your favorite? Who do you want to bring over here? He goes, really only one guy. Oh, wow. William Montgomery. <laughs> they want to book you, dude. They want to book you at Control Club in Bucharest, Romania. They want you there. Well, I never give a step foot in Romania. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Cool, sounds good. <laughs> Make some noise one more time for William Montgomery. Hey, everybody! First off, first off, holy shit, that dude's poems suck. All right, these people want the poem. Come on, we know you're half asleep. This is how it happens sometimes. Life hits you in mysterious ways at mysterious times. I'm trying to speak with my chest right now so that you understand me. How far are you from your laptop? You're, I know what it's like being single. My laptop's usually right next to me on the bed. I like what you said earlier. We don't really believe that you wrote a poem that you're afraid to go get the laptop with. So final words, Justin, one final pitch. She seems like she really, really likes you. Yeah, I, I mean, Ellie, you know, you, you run around and you're seeing all these people and I hope you can see how much different I am with you and, and you know, just, just the, the quality time we have together. It seems like we can always just be in the moment. It seems like everything we do is sincere. I mean, there's not too many people that I can just go around and dance with, go work out with, eat food with, just be in silent, paint with, and uh, all those things are really beautiful. It's it's hard to find that, and uh, I think I got a real partner in you, so I, I hope you appreciate that. Wow, that's a good one. You got the crowd back on your side. Oh, wait, no, it's a little bit split. The angry center of the room is turning against you, Justin. <laughs> oh, this is... <laughs> okay, since it's uh, July 4th tomorrow, I'd like to just do the Pledge of Allegiance, so here. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to Red Band's mom, even if I can't always get a hold of her. And on that night when we had sex at Denny's under a table intoxicated with liberty and justice for all. Amen. It took me like five hours comparing it with the actual fucking Pledge of Allegiance. Okay. Make sure your Uber driver is obese because you know his ass got the AC cranked up.
And it's been hot as shit! <laughs> Former NFL quarterback Ryan Mallett drowned in Panama City Beach after being pulled out into the ocean by a riptide. And this whole time, I thought he told other people to go deep. The Supreme Court just ended affirmative action, with re which really sucks because I was so close to playing in the NBA. <laughs> Y'all know I was gonna be playing for the Dallas Mavericks. <laughs> I love Mark Cuban. Okay, that's my time. <laughs> the great, the powerful, the big red machine, William Lights Out Montgomery. How do you feel about that set, William? Felt pretty good, but Tony, all I honestly can feel right now is I have the worst hemorrhoid. I swear to God, it's like the size of a golf ball. In my butthole, I spread my cheeks earlier in the mirror in the bathroom finally to just see what I was working with, and I swear to God, it looked just like an open predator's mouth. Oh. My butthole, yeah, I mean, it, was, it looked like I have two buttholes. Anybody else got two buttholes out in the crew? Whoa. Okay, wow. a couple of people. Yeah, it looked just like I had two buttholes. But yeah, I swear to God, Tony, it looks like the predator's mouth. I don't know what the predator's mouth looks like. It's like picture, I'm spreading it apart, and it kind of ends up, it looks like a... Swollen like vagina a, or something like that. No, I think it more like a trapezoid, kind of. Yeah. It looks like two triangle. It looks like an hourglass, kind of, because the... Just get a sewing needle. Oh... Tony, why is he he's still on the fucking show? <laughs> Seriously, what's going on? He's a ratings disaster. Did you see how he's fucking creepy with that bitch? He was just up here. I mean, he's creepy with all the bitches, dude. <laughs> you he's are... gonna get in fucking trouble. <laughs> no, I have some inside information. He's literally gonna get in trouble soon. <laughs> Creepy with all the bitches, William has said here. Yeah, I have the receipts. This is a really weird deal. I mean, he was talking. I'm, I'm not going to get into it. All right. He will describe I, what his butthole looks like, but he will not give out the info on red band. He will talk about his brown band, but not his sweet red band. Don't call out your mom right now, dude. Oh, my goodness. Huh? Wow. Literally, the only thing I can feel is that thing in my butthole right now, and you're really coming at me like that, you piece of so, shit. So, hold on. Let's, st let's stop the red band thing for a second here. Let's get back to this. Is this real, this thing in your butthole, or is this it's one It's real. It came out again. I didn't shit for two days, and then when I did, it fucking it happened. I don't know what's going on. I've been putting extra fiber in my in my midnight oats what's it called midnight oats no overnight oats i've been <laughs> midnight oats not midnight oats <laughs> i've been burning the midnight oats <laughs> yeah no my overnight oats we, i've been putting a bunch of fiber in there but it's not working tony i'm backed up right now what i wrote is, a i don't even understand who are you voting for i know <laughs> you know I small talk yeah I, I, rfk <laughs> rfk wow a lot of chance. A lot of chance here tonight. How, how do you uh, have you had a head, uh, hemorrhoid before? Yes, I had a had one or two this past yeah. year. My goodness! I wrote you a poem about it. <laughs> what is it? Fuck off. <laughs> Roses Talk are red. Talk to red band that way. Apologize. What me? Fuck off. What the fuck are you? <laughs> Apologize to Mr. Red Band. I literally have something the size of a golf ball in my asshole right now. Don't come at me, you piece of shit. <laughs> William gets a little feisty with the guests sometimes. This I is know. a famous thing. Con William, can we? Can you show us the hemorrhoid? Is that acceptable? Or blur? We'll blur it out. Do you want to see it? I was I, I was actually showing people earlier. I posted it on Instagram, but Instagram took the post down. Oh. Wow. Yeah, it was just a violated level. community guidelines. Community guidelines. That's what they hit me with. Oh my goodness! Wow, this is incredible. So, what does a uh, how does a hemorrhoid? Uh, what do you have to do now? You just wait it out? I don't know anything about this. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting it out. It was getting better, and then I ate a couple boxes of macaroni and cheese the other night. Craft brand. Really? Oh, yeah. 
I yeah, hope. and then I think that is what stopped me up. But yeah, I mean, it got better, and now it's worse again. You ate two boxes of macaroni and cheese in one sitting? Yes, I've been doing a bunch of sit-ups. I've started doing a bunch of sit-ups recently, and they just make me so hungry. So, I've... so you did a bunch of sit-ups, and then you ate two boxes of Kraft macaroni two and cheese. Two boxes of Kraft, and I started of... making my midnight. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I... I think that was a movie we did one time. It was, Didn't we yeah. work on what Midnight Oats? What was Midnight Oats about, Adam? <laughs> can, 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 we get some, can we get some cinematic uh, music? Uh, he's got it. Yeah, he's got that. I think that was actually the thing about Red Band kind of hitting on these 15-year-old girls on the internet. All right, William. Adam is going to describe the movie that... Uh, this summer, one man, one hemorrhoid... Two boxes of Kraft Mac and Cheese. I'm hungry tonight. <laughs> he had worked up the appetite of a lifetime doing 16 sit-ups. <laughs> Made it to 16, trying to get to 20 next week. He had a goal to play for Mark Cuban and the Dallas Mavericks. But that could only be achieved if he could get his midnight oats ready before 6 a.m. It's impossible. I make them at 8 a.m. Piece of shit. <laughs> he had a hemorrhoid the size of Red Band's search history in his asshole. <laughs> and there was only one way to get it out. The jaws of life. He called his gay friend Brad the jaws of life. <laughs> he literally sucked out my last hemorrhoid. <laughs> This film has not yet been rated. <laughs> Charlize Theron, Ben Kingsley, and introducing fucking... Tilda Swinton. <laughs> ...as the Jaws of Life. Featuring Robin Williams. <laughs> oh, my God. As Tilda Swinton. Robin Williams as Tilda Swinton. <laughs> And Hans Kim as the Asian neighbor who couldn't believe the size of that hemorrhoid. <laughs> he couldn't believe it the night he saw it through the mirror. Yeah, but what did Hans Kim say when he saw the hemorrhoid, William? Holy shit! <laughs> That's a big-ass hemorrhoid! <laughs> Tony, who does the black voices from earlier, is going to do the voice of Hans Kim in this movie. You know I'm going to do Hans Kim's voice. <laughs> William Montgomery stars in Midnight <laughs> I have no idea I have no idea how this show is so successful it blows my mind I was hoping we could call Justin back and get him to do a Tilda Swinton impression. <laughs> All right, that was great. Come on, man. I'm half asleep right now, dude. <laughs> Who the fuck is Tilda Swinton? <laughs> William, you are... I don't know how you do it every week, but you keep uh, filling our souls with your sweet, sweet midnight oats. And... Um, it's a pleasure to seriously pl pray for my hemorrhoid, though. I'm not kidding. I'm currently... Squeezing my butt cheeks right now. It makes the weirdest Don't feeling. make it sweat. I'll show you after the show, Tony. I Tony. actually do want to see It's crazy it. looking. I swear to God, it looks like I have two buttholes right now. Wow. I don't know if I do. You sure it's not a tumor? Huh? Oh, he just had cancer. <laughs> Did you not know? I just literally had skin cancer cut off my fucking neck. <laughs> <laughs> he really yeah, did. It's terminal. <laughs> In addition, three weeks. <laughs> three weeks. Three weeks to live from. To live. <laughs> How does that make you three feel? Three weeks. <laughs> 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 they gave you three weeks to live with skin cancer. Three weeks to live. <laughs> they told you told me last week that they took it off. Yeah, they took it off, but what they found didn't look good. <laughs> it's terminal. Three weeks to live. Three weeks to live, You Tony. seem totally fine. I've been making my peace. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
slowly but surely, I've been making my midnight oats, making my peace. I've been calling people on the phone. Who have you been calling? My old gym teacher, Coach Rogers. I mean, Coach Rogers and I used to fucking beat people up in the locker room. So, yeah, Coach Rogers. I mean, he was the first person I called. This is incredible to find out that you have three weeks to live. You were the first... Uh, um, uh, it's sad, Tony. There, hey, if Coach Rogers on the line, this is something he wants to say. Uh, hey, hey, Will, this is Coach Rogers. I'm in the middle of the big game. What's happening? You're not eating mac and cheese with that big hemorrhoid, are you? Coach, I am, and Coach Rogers, I know we haven't spoken in a while, but... Y yeah, well, you hit me up on Facebook Messenger from time to time. Sorry I don't respond. Man, that wasn't me. <laughs> My no. bad. <laughs> I have th I I don't have a good diagnosis. I mean, it was a it's a hard. I have three weeks left to live. Sorry, man, you dumbass. Sorry, it's a seventh inning a stretch. It's football, coach, idiot. That's baseball shit. Sorry, it's baseball football. Wait, what's going on? What diagnosis? What are you talking about? I'm in a bowling alley. You're in a who? A bowling alley. I'm I can't hear you. We're playing station. boxing now. We're playing. Boxing. Sorry, I I work at a YMCA. I should have mentioned that. You still work at the YMCA, Coach? Yeah, it's been a tough year. I got COVID. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting my ass kicked now. <laughs> Fuck you. I have a whistle, Coach. too. Coach. Wait. And I just, someone Coach. put a spell on my tongue. <laughs> wait, what, wait, what's up with your skin cancer? Coach. What? I have three weeks. For, till what? To live. Set. Go! Yeah, what is going on? It's the wave, he's William. Go. I think he's gonna go! He's in a 20! I'm in a drive-by with Cam, sorry, one second. Okay, sorry, what's up? Yeah, I have three weeks left to live. Uh, All right, I perfect just... timing. I'm gonna die in three weeks. Oh, uh, well, nice to hear from you, bud. Yeah, nice Thank to hear from you, too. That's a good so, sorry, there's a horse race happening. Now. Yeah. I'm at I, Churchill Downs. I put 60 bucks on William's skin cancer. Shiver me timbers. Well, you would have made 120. <laughs> you would have made what? Another spell, goddammit. Uh, uh. Sorry, I also work at Harry Potter summer camp. Now there's some owls doing mime. And that was Red Band coming to a YouTube video of a news reporter. <laughs> <laughs> Too much fun. Make some fucking noise for the great William Montgomery, everybody.